and it will be a model for others to follow. So I'm here to say congratulations on the steps taken so far and make sure this next first year the CIF is well equipped, well staffed, and focused on how we can increase women's land rights and women's economic participation because I am confident, I am sure, that Morocco's progress depends on that. So uh, thank you all of MCA, all of the government of Morocco staff for what you have achieved during this extraordinary period, both the first and the second compact. And uh, I can't wait to come back and see how much is achieved a year from now. So when I'm asked by people, why, why would you invest in women? I mean, women, they're taking care of children, they're supporting their husbands, they're making sure uh, they're supporting each other. Why do women have to have more rights? And the answer is that women can do all of that take care of their families, take care of their husbands, but they also have so much to contribute in terms of their economic participation. And societies where there's more equality between women and men prosper more, they have less conflict. The estimate is if women were in the labor force at the same rates as men, Globally, GDP would grow by over $20 billion. So this is money and prosperity that's left on the table when women are not allowed to be able to participate fully economically. So it's not just the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do.